we are going to uh, format this with the CSS maybe I will add a footer first to add a footer and copy copyright not that I claim co <laughs> copyright for this uh, however just see not showing you how it's done and uh, King Jacob and December 2019 okay I uh, will save that now I will continue to the CSS part so when we do the CSS uh, for this web page first we'll write a code for the whole uh, body and then for the H1 for the H2 the paragraph uh, the images and the footer uh, reload okay yeah for the footer so we'll write it in that order okay so let's go ahead and write the CSS for the body part okay uh, so we'll write the body selector the whole body and we want the whole body to have the background color okay maybe let's go and select the background color from flat UI colors flat UI colors and choose a British palette ah. let's see if others Chinese palette may be more palatable I don't know uh, I'm just looking for a softer color I don't know how flat UI colors categorize those colors to different countries where is the Eritrean palette I have a complaint even though I'm happy with the British palette as a British person and as Eritrean anyway um, we will go for the oh my goodness we are taking too long on this uh, okay let's go to the OSIS palette and uh, the middle blue copy that color and we'll use it okay and that's the body part and for the body part that's just the body part and then the next part is H1 H1 would be uh, you need to set the color for H1 and we also need to set the font family uh, the heading let's give it a background color as well right so the color for it okay let's go for this color deep cove okay so we need to choose a background color that is going to be suitable with that uh, this for demonstration purposes not uh, that I claim to be expert at color sel selection but always go for a uh, good contrast and font size uh, we'll make it maybe three times the normal size okay that's heading one how about if we save and check the web page its improvement oh okay no 
not improved. Why? Is there a reason why? Oh, look at that. Takes. Ah, I made a mistake there. Any simple mistake like that, uh, you should look out for when things don't work. Uh, all right, good that we had that mistake. Still, still not sold. Hmm. Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, uh, right, 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 right. mistakes reload okay all right good so we have the background and also the heading format okay so perhaps next to give the heading a font family would be a good idea because it's a serif font a serif font is not going to be a good idea for uh, so for the font family if we choose first uh, Verdana or separate with uh, a comma Arial. It's very easy to make a mistake of separating it, but with a semicolon. Uh, however, uh, we should be uh, separating with a comma and at the end the semicolon. Save it. Let's see the improvements in the heading font yeah this is better than it's more readable okay good things are working for us so we go for the h2 and I hope the video is going to be short enough so that all of you would have time to uh, look at it uh, all right so, so the h2 will you know make it slightly different uh, color from the uh, heading Flat UI colors, okay, different kind of purple. Even though purple is not my favorite color, I'm choosing it here, you know, because I know most of you like it. Alright, H2 and font size. Okay, maybe make it 2.5 times the normal size, so 2.5 EM. and uh, font family uh, we'll just change it from here just to make it different and paragraph We'll make it font family like this, similar to, okay, color of the foot, the color is FFF, it's going to be white, and if we look at it, it's not going to be nice, I don't think so. Uh, hmm, not bad, we can keep it like that. Alright, uh, after the paragraph, we are going to format the images so for images we will use the uh, img tag selector or element selector by the way we need to know uh, the difference between element and uh, tags uh, for example this is the h2 tag at the beginning and we have the h2 tag at the end but the whole thing including the content is the h2 element Alright, IMG heights is going to is let's make it height about 400 pixel width 
400 pixel again border radius sixty pixel this is a curve at the end or maybe we can make the bo the three hundred sixty so to make it a full circle and we need to add also for uh, Mozilla Firefox Moz uh, border radius we need to keep it the same and for WebKit border radius so just targeting different kind of browsers uh, margin between the pictures 10 pixels and clear boss mm. let's leave that one let's have a look right click reload alright and uh, now the next part is to for to do the CSS for the uh, footer ok for the footer we are going to use a footer selector no need to give it a special class or ID because it's just one footer we have uh, we will give it a background color choose this color paste it let me see the product reload oh all right but black text and we need to give it a height and few improvements let's go back to it uh, so for the footer height how about if we try 50 pixel uh, and the text color has to be white isn't it uh, so is it white better maybe white better or yellow I don't know uh, white FF 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 uh, and with a semicolon and we can give it a border radius but not 360 they want it to be circle maybe we give it 60 and clear clear boss safe and all right ah so it's you know it's good idea to give it a margin maybe margin top five pixel maybe set the 60 pixel for height and tabbing padding sorry padding left twenty pixel and let's see Okay, 
25 and font family and I could specify the font size as well point one EM ten percent bigger than the normal font size all right okay so we'll finish this video and we'll uh, in the next video we'll try to make the website or the web page uh, responsive